What is good everybody? Today we have a special top 10 countdown for you guys and today we are diving into the top 10 WWE elites of 2024 so far. I do this video every single year about halfway through the year and we break down some of the best WWE elite figures that we've seen so far throughout any given year. This year has been very fantastic and we got a lot of great ones on here. It was very hard to make this list and this list could change every day but this is the list as it stands right now and will these figures end up on the list at the end of the year? We'll have to find out together at the end of the year but man today we're diving into the the top 10 WWE Elite figures of 2024 so far. Before we get started, I do want to give a huge shout out to, good God, son, get on camera. What are we doing? I do want to give a huge shout out to the From the Vault series because I didn't put any of those figures on there. They do deserve their own, you know, shout out though because they are so great. I do enjoy the From the Vault series. And those figures are just previously released, you know, and that doesn't mean that it can't be on the countdown, but I didn't put any of the From the Vault series on there, but I did want to honorable mention those guys before we dive into the countdown, man. But with that being said, let's dive into my top 10 WWE Elites 2024 so far and get our countdown started. Starting out our countdown at number 10 is the Top Picks Logan Paul. Say what you will about the guy. He can go in the ring, and this figure is pretty damn good for him. You know, I always say man's incapable of having a good gear. This is probably his closest one. The blue, I think this is from WrestleMania 39 when he took on Seth Rollins. And the prime bottle was top-notch. The gear's top-notch. Solid head sculpt. Great entrance gear. It's a damn good figure, man. This is a great figure. I, I really do enjoy it, and it poses around great, so... You know, the only thing really docking this figure is hype level for the figure, you know, and, and that is some of the criteria. You guys know the criteria by now. If you don't, you know, excitement level for the figure, execution of details, posability, likeness to the character on my TV, and really, I mean, if this was one of my favorite wrestlers ever or something like that, this would be probably much, much higher, but Logan Paul comes in at number 10. Coming into the number 9 spot is the Legends of the Territory Harley Race. I was very impressed with this. This was my favorite figure from that set. Love the robe, love the head sculpt. Even if he does look like John C. Riley, this figure's a beast. I like the blue gear and everything. I don't know if I like this one over the over the flashback one in purple. I really did love that purple. But this Harley Race figure is a beast. I like the race there, the blue and red robe. Just an all-star talent right here, man. I, I really do enjoy this piece. And it came with the NWA Championship. I don't try to lump in accessories unless it's like some cloth goods. You know, a title belt, you know, they kind of came with the whole pack, not just the Harley Race. But for those reasons, I put Harley Race at number nine. Just a damn good piece. At number eight, we have a Build-A-Figure. The John Cone SummerSlam Elite Build-A-Figure, our first modern-day referee from Mattel. And this guy is everything you could possibly want. You know, I think that he poses around really, really well. I like how fitted he is. He's not loose in any sorts. I think it's just a long time coming. It's a long time coming, and I like this figure a lot. I find myself, I, I put him by my arena, and then I just pick him up and pose him around all the time because he feels good in hand. Great ab crunch, just buttery smooth, double jointed, all the good things. I know all the figures are those things now in terms of double jointed articulation. But this John Cone checks all the boxes that you need to, man. This is a great figure. And if you do, if you guys do not have this figure just yet, you definitely need to track it down. I think everybody needs at least one referee in their collection. So you may want to track this one down. It adds to your setups for sure. Especially if you're into figure photography and stuff. This John Cone is top notch. At number 7, we have the Elite 109 Damian Priest. And the only reason this guy isn't higher is because I'm not the biggest fan of him in general. And his head sculpt's a little big. But everything else, this figure is on the money. And we always talk about, you know, I've mentioned this before in the review for this figure. But we always talk about nobody bats a thousand and this figure's not as good. Or, you know, this guy, like, nobody's gonna have a perfect record. But this guy right here, every figure that Mattel has given us in Elite form so far. He does have an Ultimate coming later this year. Will the Ultimate Edition be on par with his elites, or will his bat, you know, his thousand batting average or his perfect batting average take a hit after that Ultimate is released? I doubt it. He's very toyetic. I, I don't know, man. He just moves around great. He looks like the character on my TV. The attire is nice. The sculpts. This man has like three different leg molds. He's like Trash Corbin nowadays, just getting all these different leg molds every single time the man gets a release. This figure is beautiful. I mean, even all the deco and the sculpted like splatter here on the butt, it's ridiculous, man. The guy just it gets all the damn. Somebody over at Mattel is a big Damian Priest guy. All right, man, approaching the top five, we are at number six, and I am going with the Elite 109 Seth Rollins. Now, I know a lot of people probably have Damian Priest over Rollins, but being a big Rollins guy, I really like this figure, man. I love putting on the Carmelo Hayes jacket and some sunglasses. I know he didn't come with it, but it just adds to it, and I think that 
even if the figure didn't come with stuff, if you can put stuff that's simple with it and throw it over the top, I think that can still add to your figure. Even if it doesn't come with a specific accessory, I think that, you know, th these little quote-unquote Frankenstein efforts, taking a little piece, adding it to it from a different figure, you know, a figure that a lot of people own, I think that could also upgrade a figure, and I just love the updated formula. And not even my favorite gear, I just love having a non-black attire Seth Rollins that I can pick up and pose around that doesn't look super tiny and skinny. So, I like this one, and I also like the head sculpt and stuff. He came with the New World title, which doesn't really add anything for me, but I just find myself picking this guy up and posing him around a lot, and I, he's fun to look at. Great figure, a really enjoyable Seth Rollins figure. Coming in at number five is the Target exclusive three pack Hollywood Hulk Hogan right here. This honestly could go higher. I love the upgraded skin tone. I love the shirt. The attire's nice. It is very nostalgic. Honestly, he could go higher, but I don't know. I, I want to have a little fun here today, man. I, you know, I think that if we never got the Ultimate Edition or the re release of the Ultimate Edition or some of these other Hogans we've gotten and this one was more exclusive or one that didn't look like some other ones, he'd probably be higher. But I love the tone. I love the, the torso here is fantastic and honestly the more I talk about this the more I think it should go higher just based off of different things two sweet gloved hands it is a damn near perfect figure if not it is perfect you know and uh I, I love this figure. I think it's so damn good. It's very, very good. Now I just need a perfect Elite Sting to go with it. I know we have our Elite Stings, but we need we need that Money Zone Sting for our Hollywood Hulk Hogan to do war with. Damn, man. Every time I look at this figure, though, I think of the, the Nitro stage and how we failed and how I can't sleep at night now thanks to that. Just sickening to look at, but this Hollywood Hulk Hogan is a beast. If you guys don't have this figure and you were a WCW fan or a... If you're a Hulk Hogan fan you don't own this, just throw yourself out in the damn yard. All right, man, we got a hot take here. Number four, I have Elite 107 Undertaker. I know, all right, I know. I can already hear the moans and groans, but man, just hear me out, all right? You guys know I love a good street attire, okay? If I have, if there's a figure in street attire, it's probably gonna go up the list, all right? I just love it. I think it's fantastic. As a kid, we didn't get a lot of that, and I always wanted it, you know? Not only, you know, if you watch an episode of Monday Night Raw and Stone Cold Steve Olsen's running backstage for 70% of the show and he's in, you know, this promo gear and then he's in the ring for 20%. It's like, damn, I mean, the more times I saw him, he was in promo gear, you know, that's something to think about. So I don't know, man, I love this Elite Undertaker. It, I love the watch. I love the gloves. I love the podcast shirts. Very random. I love the hat and bandana accessory and the watch is really what throws it over the top, but I love having a double jointed jacked Undertaker with the tattoos on the torso. So, I mean, this is a great old man taker, but fixing this figure up adds a level to it. And I just find myself picking this guy up and posing him around. I just think it's awesome. I don't know why. I, I just love this. I, and I don't know. I think it's the best figure in Elite 107. It's the best. It's one of my favorite figures we've gotten so far this year. I just I enjoy it a lot for whatever reason. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. But just hear me out. Coming in at number three is a figure I didn't even get to review on the channel, actually, because I never picked up a second copy, man. We have the Peter Maivia High Chief Elite from the Rocky Maivia Legacy Pack. I really enjoy this figure, man. If you take off the waist wrap and you see these pink tights underneath, and then look at how tatted up this man is and how he's just going to beat the hell out of you. Not only that, he's so buttery smooth and composed around with the best of them. I love the little lower shin cut right here. He just feels awesome, man. I feel like he could be, like, I would love to use this guy in some sort of fetting scenario. That's how great he feels in the hand. And, you know, I I never have once witnessed Peter Maivia on my television in the time. You know what I mean? I never watched him put on a five-star classic in my living room at five or six years old. I, you know, I don't have that connection to the character, but I just really enjoy this figure. It's one of those fun pieces that I really enjoy, and I like the obscure, you know, one-offs or the ones that we don't get a ton of figures of, and I love the, the tattoo deco, the pink trunks. This thing's a beast, and he is the high chief. And then coming in at number two, we have the street attire rock figure with from that same Maivia Legacy Pack, man. I mean, these two figures are beastly, and I know I didn't review it on the channel, but it's because Rocky didn't have his robe, and I couldn't possibly review it without the robe. It just wouldn't make sense. But this guy is awesome. I love the shirt. And another street attire, man. Another street promo gear, the khaki shorts. When we saw this at San Diego Comic-Con back in 2023, I knew I, I would love this figure. I mean, you have the loafers on here, which are new. The shin cut is nice. You get the double-jointed knee, the gold watch, the bracelet. You get the necklace, the, the glasses. This is 
just an awesome rock figure. And I mean, you could do a lot of different things with this figure in terms of, you know, who you want to make it and the loafers and everything. But there's so many unique things about this figure that I just love so much. And it kind of, you know, it's it's everything I love in a, a wrestling action figure. You have the watch and the promo gear and the just very one-off, like just very obscure. And I love it. So it's great. I, I love this rock figure. It had to come in at number two so far this year. Will it remain on the top 10 at the end of the year? I guess we shall see. And for the number one WWE Elite of 2024 so far, it is going to be the Monday Night Wars Austin. And I know, kind of a boring take. Kind of a boring take, but man, you got to think about it. This is the epitome of an Austin. This is the perfect Austin figure. You get the, the promo gear, you get the jacket, the camo hat, the shirt that has no Velcro, that has front and back logos, something that I've been begging for wrestling figures to do with Austin for years and years. It's just beautiful, man. It's just beautiful, and it, it's an update of a previously released figure that I held in one of my top figures of all time from Mattel, which would be the defining moments. It's a re-release of that, but better. Double jointed arms, it comes with the cans, it has all these accessories, and it has a good pissed off head sculpt. It's everything you could possibly want out of an Austin figure. I, I love that Austin figure right there, man. That is a fantastic piece, and right now, it is my favorite Elite so far of the year. But that is my top 10 WWE Elites of 2024 so far. I would love to know what you guys think of my top 10 down in the comment section below. And check out our other top 10s. I did my top 10 WWE Mattel figures of all time the other day. And uh, it, it was a lot of fun as well. But I'd love to know down in the comment section what your guys pick for the top elite so far this year is. And I know a lot of these figures are not going to remain on the list at the end of the year. It's just the way that it goes. Some will be, you know, maybe I'll probably do a top 25 again. And some of these will probably be on there. But some of them may not. You know, they're going to fall off. I know a lot of figures that are coming up that are going to be really, really damn good. So we will have to see how all of that plays out, of course as we review figures over the year and get figures in hand and all those different things. And I still want to review that Maya Villa Legacy 3-pack. Just haven't had an opportunity to do so, but surely I will be able to obtain another copy of that set and we will be able to review it. But I had to go ahead and open that one because I wanted to include those figures here today and I never picked up a second copy. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Top 10 WWE Elites of 2024 so far. I'd love to know your thoughts down below, of course. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do on a daily basis. You guys are absolute beasts. Thankful for each and every single one of you guys, but that is pretty much going to wrap the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.